So at this point I got a little brave and I thought, you know what, I'm going to have to add some colour to these. Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Wendy here from Toon Pish Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Have you ever tried using polyurethane resin? I had never tried it before. To be honest, it's one of those resins that scares me because it's so quick. It's opaque. I don't think I've ever seen a polyurethane resin that is clear. Is it? Then there might be. I don't know. I don't know anything about polyurethane resin. That's why I've never tried it. Anyway, <laughs> let's resin contacted me and said they were bringing out a new polyurethane resin. Would I like to try it? Nah. I had to say yes. I had to say yes because I was intrigued. I mean, it's less resin. Why wouldn't I say yes? <laughs> so let's see how I get on with this really scary polyurethane resin. Is it scary? Is it just me? So this is the new polyurethane resin by Let's Resin. It was released in the United States last week and it will be coming to the UK and Canada in the next few weeks. It's 10 minute fast curing time, it's opaque white, it has a 2 minute working time, low odour, low viscosity. So these are a bag of moulds I purchased from Timu. I'll try and put the link in the description box below. I like them because they had rounded edges at the base. Instead of a flat size, they're rounded and I just thought that would be really cool. So this resin is one to one by volume or weight. And although I find it a little difficult to start with pouring it out of the bottles that I have, I realised very quickly that if you pour from the side, it makes it so much easier. I'm only pouring a small amount. I'm starting small. So I'm pouring 20 ml of part A and 20 ml of part B. And I figured I'd measure the two parts out in separate cups so that I have it all ready and just pour one into the other. I thought that would give me more time and less stress. So I told that Alexa person in the corner of the room to set a timer for two minutes and I started mixing. I left this in real time so that you can see exactly how long it takes there's no point in me speeding up something that takes two minutes and although I set the timer for two minutes you've only got really about 30 seconds to stir this and I'm used to stirring for three minutes at least is that it it's a very bizarre feeling not stirring for three minutes and thinking oh, should I start now should I start now should I start now you can't see if it's mixed okay Basically, you've just got to run with 30 seconds and pour it. You think it's pretty much mixed. But it's quite daunting when you've never done it before. It's completely crystal clear, though, at this point. And it's like water. It is really low viscosity. Easy to pour. And I weren't worried about bubbles catching underneath the rim of these moulds because it was literally like water. It even looks like water. It runs like water. I had no clue how much I'd mixed, so I was just grabbing the next mould and filling it up. And I didn't know if it would shrink back like two-part epoxy resin does. So I thought I'd better give it an extra bit in case it had sharp edges. At this point, I had no clue what it was going to come out like. How it was going to feel to touch? Not a clue. In my head, it was white two-part epoxy resin. That's how I was thinking it was. That's how my brain was putting it together. Two-part epoxy resin, but opaque and fast cure. That's the only thing I could think of. I now know that's not accurate at all. At this point, the clock had been ticking for a while. It's getting hot. So the resin was getting hot to the touch and I knew that I just had to pour it and stop faffing with the amount that's going in each mould. Just, just get it in the mould, girl. I am going to speed this little bit up because it is quite repetitive. Basically, I'm filling up the moulds. So when they were all full, and I have speeded this bit up because the next 10 minutes you will see them change. And I sat there watching them. It's like watching paint dry and I was thoroughly enjoying myself. 
I know I'm odd. But I have noticed that the little bear mold that's in the bottom right hand corner is thinner and it definitely took longer to cure than the others. At least that's what appeared to happen. Two part epoxy resin heats up when it's curing and so does this. It gets extremely hot and extremely fast. So if this polyurethane resin is really thin, it hasn't got the heat behind it, it needs to cure quickly. Now, apparently this polyurethane resin can be poured extremely deeply, but it cannot go anywhere near water or it won't cure. So these little pieces Although they cured in 10 minutes at a push, were really quite thin for this resin. It was still a bit soft and warm. After 10 minutes, I decided to give it another minute. 11 minutes. And after 11 minutes, they were still a little soft, so I decided to go for one more minute. 12 minutes. Now ordinarily I would probably just set the timer for 15 minutes walk away and forget about them but I was intrigued to know how soft they would be at what point and as these were quite thin they did take about 12 minutes to actually cure up properly. So at this point I got a little brave and I thought you know what I'm going to have to add some colour to these. This colour is from this little piggy and it is sangria. So I had a chat to the people I talked to at Let's Resin and they said they put colour in when they're mixing. This to me sounds a little scary. Not only do you have to mix the colour in but you have to mix the two parts together. So what I decided to do was mix the colour in with part B only. So as this resin is opaque white it will definitely mute the colour down and I expected that completely, but I did want to try it out as I never have. So let's see what happens to this. Again, I will show you the curing so that you can see the change, but I will speed it up considerably. This is really speeded up. It's about times 30, I think. At first it didn't seem to do anything, but then you could see it. But what I didn't know was underneath was changing color more than on top. And yes, I am that person that sat and watched what am I like? Now with any resin, the more pigment you add in, the slower the curing time. And this was after 10 minutes and it was definitely still warm and still soft. So I left the others for another five minutes. So this was 15 minutes and they are still soft. But like I said, when you add pigments or anything, it does increase curing time. And although it came out of the mould nicely, it was still bendy. Beautiful colours though, although very muted, but that is what I expected. So when it got to 17 minutes, I thought, that's it, they're coming out. I actually thought at that point, maybe they wouldn't cure, but they did. They were just slower because of the amount of pigment I put in. Tiny bit of resin, quite a bit of pigment, but I wanted to give it colour. So at this point I thought, I wonder if I could do a dirty pour with this polyurethane resin using a split cup. This is Let's Resin split cup. And I'm putting 10 ml of the part B in each of the compartments and using the color in just the part B. So I'm using the same color Sangria. I'm also using Sapphire from the same company. And I'm also gonna be using Twinkle which is a stunning colour all on its own, but we'll go into that another time. Now I'm going to pour in 10 ml of part A. If I'd have thought about it, instead of putting 30 ml in a jug, I should have had three jugs with 10 ml in. It would have been so much simpler than trying to judge how much I've poured in. But I did it, and then I just used the split cup, which is an amazing split cup, by the way. I've had cheap ones, and this one outshines it completely. I've just randomly poured in, by the way, a couple of them when I got to near the end, I realised I could go round and round in circles and I thought that might be a better way of doing it, to be honest. But yeah, I wasn't sure how this would turn out, but any colour change on the front would be cool. So then when I got near the end, the last little bit I should have left in the cup really, because that wasn't stirred in properly and you'll see when it's cured what happens. This is times 30 again. It's quite cool watching it, isn't it?
after 17 minutes this is the result and I really really like them now that I've made a few of these I can honestly say hand on heart make sure you stir them properly because these are gorgeous but a couple of them have the spots on them that is where it's not stirred or I poured the bottom of the mix from the jug into them and there you go it's not mixed you see those spots that's where it's not mixed so don't do what I did and mix it properly well, I'm absolutely loving the moulds and I love this PU resin. It's absolutely amazing and it's lots and lots and lots of fun. But there's one thing I need to know before I finish this video. I want to know if this resin will pick up mica like regular two-part epoxy resin. Now I have a feeling it will but I can't tell you it does until I've tried it. So with my trusty silicon sheet inlay that I used in the video linked in the top right hand corner, I've put it in the little tray mold and I'm going to mix up six ounces of polyurethane resin. I do have another mold over the side, just out of view, that I have as a backup and that has a druzy piece in it and I'd like to also know whether it works with druzies or what sort of effect you get with it. I have coloured this in exactly the same colours as I've been using throughout this video. I just think they're gorgeous colours and they go well together. So once I've mixed it all up, I pour it in. Once I've made sure that I've got it topped up to the top as much as I can without going over the edge, then I pull over the other druzy mould and I just pour it on top. Now I don't go over this with a silicon tool to get rid of air bubbles or anything. I haven't done that with any of the pieces. I've just poured it and left it and I almost forgot to put my signature inlay in. I managed to do it halfway through curing so it's a bit awkward but it was in there. So I left this for about 15 minutes and after 15 minutes as it was a little deeper there was a little bend in it but nothing much. I chose the druzy first. I wanted to see how it would come out came out of the druzy mold easily oh it's a solid white color so it's not going to look like a fantastic shiny druzy but it's very spectacular it has picked up all the druzy effect and there's no bubbles in it well that's what it seems like anyway and now for the final piece first of all the little silicon inlay for my signature came out really sweet and although it's dented it slightly where I pushed it down and it was curing the mark is there so that's good it's a good start. I'm hoping that this works because this resin is so much fun to use. It's so quick and so simple. And although it feels a little different when you hold it in your hand, it feels more plasticky, but there's no bubbles and none of these pieces have been in the pressure pot. I couldn't have hoped for better, really. A little bit of the resin popped underneath the silicon inlay, which you can cut out, you can trim that up, which I did. I took it to one side and trimmed it out around the edge and it's picked up everything and looks absolutely fantastic in my opinion. I'm really over the moon that that worked. That just sealed it for me. I love this stuff. I'm gonna have to use this more and figure out more things with it, but it's a lot of fun to play with. It's definitely a lot of fun. With the other pieces, I've made them all into key rings. Some of them I didn't think were good enough to sell, so I've been giving those away with anyone that bought anything from my website in the last few days. So if you bought anything from my website in the last few days, you will have a gift inside. Not only a normal little gift, but a keyring as well. The rest of these keyrings will be on sale on my website, so don't forget to go and check out toonpish.com. I have had so much fun with this video. So in summary, at the end, what do I think of Let's Resin Polyurethane Resin? It's extremely quick. It's actually a lot of fun. It feels like plastic. It doesn't shrink back like normal two-part epoxy resin. And yeah, I really like it. I want to do more with this. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've got something out of it. I hope you've learned something along with me. Don't forget to come back and see me next week because you never know what I'm going to be up to. I never know what I'm going to be up to. Have a great week. Happy grafting.
and bye for now.